Bodies are comprised of billions of molecular cells held together by electronic bonds. Sometimes these molecules are held together by a weak bond and can split apart, resulting in an unstable molecule with an unpaired electron. This molecule is known as a free radical. Some free radicals occur normally in our bodies through metabolism. However, there are many environmental factors that can cause an excess of free radicals such as pollution, radiation, cigarette smoke, and herbicides. In addition, stress, lack of exercise, and lack of sleep. These free radicals will start attacking healthy nearby cells in an attempt to replace their missing electron. When the attacked molecule loses its electron, it becomes a free radical itself. This can cause a chain reaction to occur, resulting in the disruption of millions of nearby molecules. This chain reaction is known as oxidative stress, and many experts agree that oxidative stress is thought to be leading causes for such things as arthritis, premature aging, edema, and leg swelling, hardening of the arteries, and even an increased susceptibility to cancers. We can see the results of this oxidation in our everyday environment, such as a rusting piece of metal or fruit that's exposed to air. Think about it, if you cut a piece of apple and leave it out in the open, in a very short period of time, you'll see the surface begin to turn brown. And that's how quickly oxidation occurs. Imagine this happening in your body. It is literally decaying otherwise healthy cells. So how do we protect ourselves from these free radicals that are wrecking havoc in our bodies? Well, if the destructive process is through oxidation, then the answer is antioxidation. And this is achieved with antioxidants. Antioxidants stop this chain reaction by donating one of their own electrons to the free radicals. The great thing is, the antioxidant nutrient itself does not become a free radical by giving away its electron. It's kind of like a win-win situation for the antioxidant and the free radical. Scientists have created a test to measure an antioxidant's ability to pacify the free radicals in our system. This test is known as the Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity Test, often referred to as the Auric Test for short. Fruits are tested with this and are graded with a number, which is known as their Auric Score or Auric Value. Let's take a look how the acai berry stacks up to its competition. Let's start by looking at a tomato. Its ability to pacify the free radicals in our system was measured using the Auric Test and received a score of 60. A cherry was tested and its auric value turned out to be 100. How about some broccoli? It was tested resulting in an auric score of 130. Now let's look how the acai berry stacks up. It received an auric score of 1027. Historically, the greatest antioxidant in controlling superoxide free radicals was sprouted wheatgrass. A lot of people are familiar with wheatgrass but probably don't know why they take it. It certainly isn't for the taste. Sprouted wheatgrass is extremely powerful in pacifying the free radicals in our system. However, when comparing the acai berry to sprouted wheatgrass, it was found that the acai berry was three to four times more powerful in controlling the superoxide free radicals in our system. Based on USDA data, the acai berry is 500 to 1,000 percent higher in antioxidant activity than any other fruit or vegetable.